City leaders are recognizing a man who has turned around his life completely, going from prison to being a leader in his workplace. News 4's Ali Ingersoll brings us the story. Jerome Hearn has taken a long winding path to get here, in a room with city leaders clapping for him. I really never thought I would be up here doing this. The 42-year-old born in Georgia and raised on the east side of Buffalo didn't think he'd be doing this after finding himself in and out of prison for more than 20 years. I still had the same mentality. So that's really what got me back in prison. And when I went to prison up here, I kind of saw this ain't where I wanted to be. I kind of woke up. And after spending more than four years in jail during his last stint, Hearn's wake-up call came in the form of a meeting with Pastor Charles Walker. The Reverend runs the re-entry program, helping people like Hearn assimilate back into society after spending years locked up in prison. And sometimes individuals, you know, think that they can make it on their own, and some do, but a vast number of them don't. The statewide recidivism rate is about 90% for young men. The re-entry program's rate is less than 3%. The pastor says Hearn is proof that this program works. If you don't have a support system in place, chances are you will, you know, go back to what you what bounced you in inside a prison. Hearn says having support has made all of the difference, bringing him here to this stage, receiving recognition from the city. I wish my mom was up here with me to see you doing this. I know, I know my, my brother would be proud of me, for real. He says he never thought he'd be able to say that he's proud of himself. But after graduating from Erie One BOCES, holding a full-time job, he is. And he's determined to stay on this path. My mentality is the way it was, and now how it is now. I know that if I could do this, I could do anything. And Jerome says now that he has accomplished this, he knows that nothing is going to stop him. Reporting from Buffalo, Ellie Ingersoll, News 4.